Yo, what is up? How's it going? This is Kazi. Today we have something really special for you and um, it's gonna be a different type of video. So I hope you enjoy, but what we're gonna be doing is I paid a stranger a hundred bucks on Fiverr. And basically what I wanted to see is what kind of app would they build with React? And specifically, I wanted to give them instructions on, hey, build something along the lines of an Airbnb landing page or an Airbnb clone. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the process of how did I reach out to them? What were my job requirements for them? What was the actual app that they made? And then the source code they actually gave back and how would I rate this app? So I'm gonna walk through it as well and take a look at the code, take a look at the actual app and see what things are missing, what thing we could improve. And if you guys really like it, maybe we'll even build this app from scratch so at this point if you're excited you want to jump into the video and you want to see this make sure to hit that and smash that like button because it helps the video get out there everywhere in the world so go ahead and do that with that said let's jump right into it this app let's get straight into i'm going to go over to my screen right now and we're just going to go straight into showing you what i actually did okay so i went to fiverr and i made a job posting and basically i made a job posting for getting a react app so i wanted to give them a simple task something along the lines of hey build a airbnb landing page and i wanted to see what this developer would do with it and i want to just give him room to be creative so i put this job posting on fiverr and a couple of days later this person responds to me and i and i chose for this project i chose this person's intermediate package I paid them $100 and, and they said, okay, it's going to take 14 days. Uh, and the order was placed with Technovation. So shout out to Technovation. They're creating a two-page web or mobile app using React or React Native. So I chose one page, some design customization, content upload, responsive, responsive design. I also wanted the source code. So it came to about a total subtotal of $100 and service fee of five dollars so total of a hundred and five dollars for the entire um, entire thing now another disclaimer i want to make is this person once they made the app it was so phenomenal and they did such a good job with it that i, I brought this person on and started working with them on our team at clever programmer and i actually then told him um i ended up paying him a lot more and i said hey can you take this app and add a lot more functionality to it? So we went and added even more functionality to it, okay? But I'm gonna talk about the functionality they added for a hundred bucks, and then I'll talk about the functionality this person added for almost about a thousand bucks, okay? So let's go ahead and do that, and I think it'll give you some nice layers to this. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app now. Okay, so this is the app that this person made which is this landing page that we were looking for. And I wanted them to build it with React. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. Everything is there. And then there's a lot of other functionality as well. For example, it is mobile responsive. So when I start going and, you know, closing it down like this, boom, you can see that. For example, this go near right here is in the middle of the screen. And boom, as I'm starting to go smaller, it goes down. I also want to give some critiques and some suggestions on how this person could improve this app. All right, so there's a couple of things I, I, I looked at here. But first, let's just go through all the functionality. So I can click check in. I can hit location, explore nearby. I can hit checkout. I can add guests. If I click this menu, this pops up. I, I want to just add this, okay, to it. This is crazy for $100. Okay, this is a lot for a hundred bucks. This is absolutely incredible. So take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm gonna critique it like I paid somebody 10 grand, but this person only got paid a hundred bucks for this. Okay, so just keep that in mind the whole time as I give critique or I add suggestions to it. So a couple of things right off the bat that I feel like can possibly improve is the image quality seems to be like the aspect ratios seem to be off. So for example, when I go into a fully responsive mode right here, you can see that things seem a bit stretched, right? Like this person seems a bit stretched, trees. So the image is, seems a bit stretched. Also, it seems really long. 
right over there. You know, that's it's a little too long. I'm not sure if Airbnb itself has this elongated of a hero section. Uh, so we're going to rate this app on a couple of different things. We're, we're going to rate it on its mobile responsiveness. We're going to rate it on the functionality. And of course, we'll give it a rating on its budget. Like how cost effective was it to get this app completed? But first, also, we're going to take a look at the code and we're going to rate it on the code as well. How simple is the code? How easy it is to read? Because for a lot of you who are trying to get jobs as developers, one thing you have to make sure is that your project is easy to understand. The code is easy to read. So when it's on your GitHub or a recruiter comes by or somebody's trying to hire you, they should be easily able to understand your code, read your code, follow along, reason through it. That is what allows them to bring you on board for a job interview or allows them to see that you might be a good fit for that job. All right. So I hope that makes sense here. I'm taking a look at his code that he gave us for this. And again, this is also more code in here because this is after I hired him and then we made him, uh, we got his help to do even more with uh, Airbnb. I see a couple of different things right when I look at the pro pro project structure, I'm happy because one, I'm seeing, okay, for state management, we're using Redux. That's really good because most companies are now using Redux. Redux is being downloaded 5 million times a week. React is being downloaded 8 million times a week. So Redux is super popular. And for mid size and large size companies, almost all of them are using it. So I highly recommend learning it, especially if you want to get a job. So we're using Redux here. I look at styling. There's styling going on for every single component is what I imagine. We have our components here. So we have our header, which I believe is this guy right there. I see we have our experience footer hero section. So for example, when I just look at this app, let's get out of the mobile version. And I look here, I imagine that this hero section corresponds to this hero section. This is also good for you to understand how to read code potentially and improve on in that skill. We have a live anywhere section, which seems to be this section right there Live anywhere. Now, of course, you could go inside of the component and see what's happening here. And you can see how he's making it mobile friendly and how there's overflow auto. So for example, even when I go in mobile, it's still there and it's overflowing, which kind of looks cool. And I can scroll, I can scroll sideways. This stuff is super awesome. So that this is how you would read somebody's code, react code, if you were going through and looking at it. And this is what people who are hiring you are doing. Under location, I can see that he's got all of the locations that we're looking for in under the experience of world right there. Okay. And there's also experience right here. So I believe actually this experience corresponds to this. And then we have things like footer. So if I go inside of the footer, I imagine that's all the stuff that's here, which is really easy to see and even easy to edit how Airbnb works. Boom, right there. Newsroom, newsroom. So this seems like a really manageable uh, code base. And it seems like something I can understand easily and start to make changes to it really easily. So that's a really good sign for me. Other things I notice are for data, for a lot of you guys who are especially beginners with React, you guys mix your data and your React code all at the same time. So try to separate out your business logic from your presentation logic. So keep your data and your components separate. So here, even though he's not using a database, but all his data is in JSON files, which is really nice, super easy. All his images are right there. Title, description, the live anywhere section. If we go there, so I have this live anywhere section and I imagine that where it says pets.webp, that image corresponds to this image. I can see there's a pet. I can see that it's a live anywhere section. So really nice, easy to understand code. So on the code side and understanding the code side and the fact that he's using Redux, still keeping everything clean and the project overall looks good. Just looking code, looking at the code on the code side, I would give it a, let's say 10 out of 10. Okay, so we'll give it a 10 out of 10 on the code side. On the mobile responsive side, I think 
Um, I, I want to actually show you some more of the functionality first, and then we can actually get into that. So there's some other things that are happening here as well, which I can actually tell from the code. So if I go to app.js, I can look in, he's using React Router to be able to switch between pages without refreshing. And it seems like there are three total pages we have. So the main page I've shown so far is the home page, which is just this page right here. And then we have the search result page, okay, which I think happens when I go in this date picker and I apply, choose, we hit search, and it brings us to this page right there. So this is our second page, search result. And then our third page is actually item detail. All right, and I believe that that happens when I click into this and we get it to item detail page and bam, this page is just phenomenal. Looks so good. And let's go mobile responsive and see, look at that beauty, completely mobile responsive, right? We even got the little scrolling thing right here. So nice overflow. So let's go back. So this is our home page. This is our listing page. And then this is our detail page. And even on the listing page, if I go like this, you can see it's completely mobile responsive. I go full screen and boom, now it's desktop mode. The, this is the overall functionality, which is incredible. The functionality that he built for $100 was the landing page, all right? And look at what happens with the nav bar here. As I scroll down, it is gorgeous. Like boom, just so slick. These are the three pages that were done. Based on this functionality, I would give this app a 8.5 out of 10. The reason why I'm taking away a couple of points here are, for example, in mobile, in mobile mode, I, I can't click anything and I can't go to any other pages. So in mobile mode, like literally I can't go to the second or the third page. That was an easy thing to add for, for this person, right? They could have easily added just one, one of them could be a link and I could click it and go to the page. So I'm gonna dock off a point for that. The second thing is certain pages or certain images are not the highest resolution or like are getting stretched. So like for example, this, just take a, maybe a half a point off for that. Other than that, I think that it is absolutely amazing and really, really, really mobile responsive. So great job on the mobile responsive end, okay? For the budget of this app, based on the functionality that I got out of the box with just $100 is straight up a 10 out of 10 on that side. Cause that is incredible amount of functionality that I'm getting. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Think about that. A developer who has React skills are making $70, $80, $90 an hour, or even more at some, um, at some companies. This person built this entire page, which might have taken them multiple, multiple hours, and they only charged hundred dollars for it. So, pricing, boom! It's absolutely um, amazing. So, ten out of ten on that. Functionality of the app, I would give it a nine. So, one in mobile responsiveness. The reason why is in mobile responsiveness, it, there's some functionality that, that just doesn't work. Okay. But even here, there are a couple of things, like for example, when I click check in, I have this come up, which is great. But when I click check out, nothing comes up. So it's kind of confusing because I'm picking this in for picking this date for check in, and then I'm picking a date like that, but I never actually get to pick anything for checkout. So I would definitely, it would make sense to me to have, to be able to pick something for a checkout, okay? So I think just those two things, would be really nice add-ons because even if you have this as a project on your portfolio, I think a recruiter would understand that you have a dummy project. You know, you don't have everything implemented in there. But they would be curious why something that's so up in the front is not working, right? Like I can, I can understand if these links are dummy, but something that's right there, front and center, I think that should definitely be working, right? That should be working. So. That's why a nine on the functionality side. So overall, mobile responsiveness, we are at a 8.5 or more on mobile responsiveness. I think mobile responsiveness is almost perfect. There's just a few things I took points off for, but you know, it hurts my heart, but it's really good. Budget wise, we're at a 10 out of 10. Functionality wise, we're at like a nine to 9.5. Overall, a amazing app and that's it, <laughs> okay? so. This was a different type of video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button.
Drop in the comments below what were your thoughts and how would you grade this app? Let me know if you want to see us make a video on something like this. And listen, if you want to become a developer or a React.js developer and you want to get the job of your dreams and you want to learn how to build amazing projects like this, have them on your portfolio and explode your career, listen, we're the best in the game. And we're here for you. And we want to show you how to add these projects to your portfolio and take your career to the next level. This is why we made our course Profit with JavaScript. Now, the doors of this course are going to be closing in a couple of days. And it's not a marketing trick, but we close the enrollment so then we can have new students come in and we can just give them our best attention and energy and make sure that they succeed. So if you want to take the opportunity right now, click the link below. Even if you're just a little bit curious, click that link below and check it out for yourself. I really hope that you jump inside of the course and we want to see you. We want to help you and we want to explode your career as a developer. And we can show you in that program exactly how you can build apps like these from complete scratch. With that said, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed that video. This is your boy, Kazi. I love your beautiful face. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.